Hi, I'm Gary Safadi. I'm CTO at Candy.com. And what I'm going to show you now is how we used to build reports and how we transitioned to use eye charts to make our life so much easier. Previously, when we had to go through and track what was happening with the orders and orders that came in from the day comparing to previous days, it was very manual and it had to be done multiple times a day. We would go in and we would run the save search and it would return the number of results for orders per day. Once we had that information, we would actually go into a spreadsheet. We would put the information in the spreadsheet for the current day, and then we would go to the pivot table, and we would refresh the pivot table in order to get the current value. We built a graph off of that pivot table so we could see what our trends looked like because the information was very cyclic. On a weekly basis, we could determine what was happening. The problem with that is the spreadsheet resided locally, it was very manual and it had to be done multiple times a day. Instead, what we now do is inside of iCharts, iCharts actually has the same capability where we can go through and we can track the exact same information real time. So anyone who has access to this chart, as long as the chart is up and running, can see this and see what the volume is. And you'll notice that the trends are identical if you look at the curves between each of the the one that we just did manually and what we got real time inside of NetSuite. The benefit we get from the iChart solution that's real time in NetSuite is we also have the ability to go in and decide, I don't want to see some of my top sellers. I want to see some of the ones that are selling maybe not quite as much so we can look at the trends. Once you filter out that information, it will actually recalibrate the graph as well as redisplay the information you want. So rather than having a peak of between 12 and 1400, It'll come back now with a more logical peak so that these bottom solutions or these bottom trends have more information there and they're easier to see. The nice thing about iCharts, again, is that anyone who has access to this graph can actually go through and see the information real time. And you'll see that the flat lines that were in the original graph now actually have a lot more representation and you can see the trends which are cyclic week to week just on a smaller scale.